Good morning from this not so sketchy bus stop here in Ljubljana, Slovenia. Today we have a six hour train journey from Ljubljana into Vienna, Austria, where we're gonna stay in the coolest hostel I've ever seen. I'm so excited. We've only stayed in two hostels, so the bar's not very high, but it's really cool, I promise. Is that what we're waiting on? Yes, ma'am. Woohoo! Amber was a little worried. I'm always worried. Uh, well, uh, but Amber. <laughs> oh, ow, ooh, my ankle just popped. Oh, that hurt so bad. If you ever need a good companion for where to go, Google Maps tells you everything. <laughs> Thought you were about to say me. Amber does okay, but she's a lot more expensive. <laughs> this is an interesting train station. There's no like big grand building. It's sort of half outdoors, but we made it with 15 minutes to spare. I can't see where I'm going at all. This is the first time we ever got to a platform and the train was already here. We did not have to wait outside at all. I'll be taking a nice nap in these in a little bit. Everybody gets their own table. That's so cool. Found a button and I'm gonna push it and see what it does. <gasps> so cool. I am loving this. I don't know why nobody else is on here, but I'm all for it. Let's go check out first class. Well, you've got leather seats. I think they recline. And that's about it. <laughs> Today's tickets were actually purchased online. They were $30 a piece, which is more expensive than what we're used to. And there were no direct lines as far as we could tell. So we have a transfer in Maribor. These misty mountain mornings are so dreamy. We've been stopped for so long that Nathan said time to fall asleep and I had time to put on some makeup. We're at, I think, a power plant, just like 45 minutes outside of the city. These houses up in the hillside are everything I hope to have someday. I'm sure in the summertime, this is so beautiful. This is our transfer. We got like a 20, 30 minute wait for our next train. Thank you. Thank you. We got off the train right here and Right here is our train to Vienna. So we can get right on and we don't have to wait. Well, this is good. This is second class. This is where we're supposed to be. There's a dining car. This is a nice train. We were supposed to have like a 20, 30 minute stop, but I think we got to the train station late and the conductor pointed, Vienna, Vienna. So we hopped on and as soon as we got on, we took off. So maybe they waited for us, I don't know. These seats are so comfortable. We have an outlet, we have plenty of room. I like this train. So we had said that this train was a little bit more expensive than what we've been paying previously, but so far it's been worth it. Having a great time already. Vienna main station. Via Graz main station, Brunka der Ruhe and Wiener Neustadt. The middle of our train, we offer you seats for first class and also a dining car where we are pleased to serve you. This is the first time we've seen snow all winter long. As comfortable as this ride was, that definitely felt like six hours, if not longer. Which way? Which way? Everyone's going this way, so... Let's try that way. Follow the crowd. Woo! We are back on the streets of Vienna. We came here once in 2018 and had such a great time. Ugh. We are gonna go to our super awesome cool hostel, but first we need to eat. Pretty excited about this. 
Well, that was good. I don't know if it was authentic, but the pork was juicy, the potato salad was good, and it only cost us 16 euros for both of us. That's where we're staying. Ah, oh, I'm so excited. I believe this entire hostel is completely self-check-in. I don't think there's a front desk or anything. It's just a room full of capsule beds. If the shoes are any indication, there's only one other person here. This place is so cool. We're number nine. This is us. We have a double capsule, so we're both gonna be in here. So far, that's nice. The other hostels that we were at did not have a lock, and they always tell you to bring your own lock for your locker. These ones come with a key. There you go. I don't normally get super excited about the bathroom, but this place is awesome. There's two shower rooms two toilet rooms, and three different sinks to choose from. A lot of the times the hostel showers can kind of come off as dorm life, but these are nice. There's even a blow dryer if I knew how to do my hair. This is by far the nicest bathroom I've ever seen in a hostel. Uh, what just happened? You have a room key? Uh, This mattress is so comfortable. This place is $48 for the night, and that's pretty much the average price for any hostel in this area. But this one was so much cooler, so this is the one we chose. There are so many buttons. Every capsule comes with its own safe with an individual code. How cool is that? Looks like our screen may be broken, but each capsule also comes with its own air conditioning. Not sure how well it works though. Right now we have the mirror light on, but there are also ceiling lights. This place is so cool. So your neighbors don't hear you watching TV. Every capsule comes with two pairs of headphones. You plug them into the headphone jack and you can sign into Netflix, YouTube, and I think even Hulu. These may be broken. <laughs> hey, you get what you pay for. I'm still just as excited. We each have our own reading light. And from the looks of it, you can actually set an alarm on here if we could read the screen. And it has a little wake up light for you in the morning. That's pretty cool. We couldn't find it at first, but there's also a pop out table. Would you look at that? This is just the cutest little thing. The small little touch of adding a table, that's pretty genius. There are a lot of buttons in this thing, and we don't know what a majority of them do, so we're just gonna push this one and see what happens. <laughs> what happened? Maybe it's like a do not disturb button or something. Um, yeah, that's definitely a do not disturb button. Is it really? Yep. I think the biggest benefit of this place is just the privacy that the capsules offer. Some hostels, you don't even get a sheet, you're just in a bunk bed with 16 other people. This place is completely self-check-in. They email you a code an hour before, and that's how you get in. One of the reviews did say that there is a notorious homeless man who tries to break in every night because he knows that the staff is not around. So don't open the door for strangers. <laughs> I found this place on HostelWorld.com. It's $48 a night for the double bed that we have, and it's only 15 minutes from the train station here in Vienna. Vienna isn't exactly budget friendly, and this was the average price for a place to stay anywhere, whether it was a hostel or Airbnb, so this just made the most sense and we really wanted to have fun and give it a try. We can't decide if we want to spend the rest of our night in the capsule or go out and see just a little bit of the city. We do have most of our day here tomorrow, but tomorrow afternoon we fly to Lisbon, Portugal. That is our 20th country together. If you want to watch us explore our 20th country together, hit the subscribe button and follow along. Please and thank you. I don't know who was in here last, but thanks for the subscribe. 
Every little bit helps. It really does. This is the first time we ever didn't... This is the first time we ever got to a platform and the train was already here. No waiting whatsoever. <laughs>